Hi, my name is Calvin Crosby, and I am considered death blind because I was born with a genetic disease called Usher syndrome. It diminished my hearing from birth, and when I became a teenager, it also diminished my vision as well. And eventually, I might become completely blind. A number of years ago, after eating breakfast in the school cafeteria, I got up to take my plate to the cleaning station. In front of me was a chair that someone had carelessly left in the aisle. I couldn't see it. As a result, I fell over the chair and spilled all this milk all over myself. As humorous as it might have been for some, I couldn't help but cry. As frustrating as that moment was, it was also a moment of clarity. From that moment on, I was determined to leave my old life behind and embrace the deaf-blind world. Accepting myself as deaf-blind is at best difficult, and I face many challenges. I can't hear or see people riding their bikes or skateboards, and I actually have to count my steps to get from one class to another. The face of the campus is constantly changing. A simple barrier around a broken water main or a detour around a new construction area is a daunting task to navigate, and I don't always get updates on the changes. Of course, I do have a second set of eyes and ears, my guide dog Jerry. You can't imagine what a great help and friend he is to me. But once Jerry helps me navigate to class, I'm presented with a whole new set of challenges. I have trouble hearing my professors, so sitting in front of the classroom is important. But for me, if I sit in front, I won't be able to see the board because of the particular effects that Usher syndrome has inflicted on my sight. As I said earlier, I have come to grip with the deaf-blind world, but I certainly could use some help. If a faculty member would simply post or email me the PowerPoint file, I can put it on my iPad or computer and have the device read it to me. A simple thing. My eyesight also makes it a challenge for me to be able to read a standard textbook. I require a textbook in electronic form so my computer can read it aloud. Some of my classes don't have textbooks in electronic form, so I have to request the textbook ahead of time. It can take from four to six weeks for Student Disability Services to get an accessible textbook from the publisher or to make it themselves. If faculty do not turn their book list in on time, I will fall behind in class. Another challenge I face is documents that are on the Blackboard system. Documents posted on Blackboard need to be accessible so my computer can read them out loud to me. I run into trouble when a PDF is placed on Blackboard that is essentially a scan image. PDFs can be created using OCR optical character recognition software, such as Adobe Acrobat Pro. That's another format my computer can read to me. It's such a simple thing to do. The reason for creating this video is to bring awareness to faculty of the challenges that just one student has to go through to attend just one class. By helping a student with a disability, you are empowering them to be able to overcome the enormous odds and do well in college. These little changes make my life and the lives of others a whole lot easier. And they're all such simple things. I simply ask that you work with us because we're worth it. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Recommendations. Post all documents in electronic format 
on Blackboard or other learning management systems instead of using handouts. Submit course book lists well ahead of time. Make sure electronic documents are not scanned images of text. Deliver instructions clearly. Use large visuals. Provide instructions orally and in electronic format, such as PDF files. Speak clearly and do not use jargon. Consider recording your lectures. Contact your faculty development office or Student Disability Services Department for more tips.